is a legend who now has to sell his equipment after 40 years of playing gigs all over the country. And a story you will see only right here on Local 12. Our James Pilcher tells us about David Rhodes Brown and how his friends and bandmates are now helping out. David Rhodes Brown is known as the godfather of the local rockability and country punk scene. He could shred, he could write killer songs. He's voice. The freaking voice. Playing Cincinnati clubs for more than 40 years. He is so important to the Cincinnati music scene in general, not just me personally. I mean, he helped me make my career from nothing to something. Um, but I'm just one little sliver in a pie of his entire life. I hurt myself today. But Brown now has stage four lung cancer. To see I still feel. His medical expenses are covered by the VA. I focused on the pain. But he wants to leave something behind for his family. The only thing that's real. Things are in a different perspective for him, and I think he realizes what's truly important, and that's family. As he told me, all he has to leave his family are his songs and his instruments. So he is selling his extensive collection of guitars, pedal steels, banjos, and amps. All of this stuff was meant to be used, and I think that's one of the reasons Dave wanted me to pass it on to people that would create with it still. But then later, like 2018, he picked up this uh -huh. gold top and he started playing that with us live. Right. Which I might have to take that away. <laughs> that might be mine. Seeing all the equipment lined up brought back a lot of memories for Mallet and John Schmidt of the Warsaw Falcons. I think they're going to uh, keep this on display down here. Brown played in both bands, leading the Falcons as a frontman and playing pedal steel and occasionally singing for 500 miles to Memphis. <laughs> The two jammed for a bit with Brown's instruments. He had good taste in instruments, so if you're interested in picking something up, whether it's to play it for yourself or have a little piece of Cincinnati history. You came back. The former front man is trying to stay out of the spotlight. Just focused on family and his grandchild and his wife and kids. But he welcomes any well wishes or anything people can do with his instruments. In Covington, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. And what a legacy he is leaving behind. Those selling the equipment say they are hoping to raise well over $10,000. Mike's Music is also putting on a benefit for the flood victims in eastern Kentucky. Coming up on August 21st, you can find details on that. And David Rhodes, David Rhodes Brown's music collection are also in James's story on Local12.com.